From Green, Ohio to international prominence. News 5 digital producer Cameron Justice got a chance to check in with Rachel Cargill about her work as an activist, author, and speaker, and how her upbringing here in Northeast Ohio primed her for that role. From her humble beginnings in Green, Ohio. I grew up in a poor neighborhood that was surrounded by wealthy white people, essentially. Rachel Cargill knew the color of her skin set her apart. That gave me a very particular perspective where I recognized what privilege I didn't have. And from an early age, she always was questioning. I think I've always been a fairly critical thinker. By the time Cargill entered Hoban High School, her voice was developing. I was always known to um, fight for what I wanted, whether it was a varsity spot on the soccer team or, um, you know, I remember telling teachers that I didn't feel like they were giving me the type of education that I deserved. She says it all led her to where she is now, an internationally known author, speaker, activist, and philanthropist. Cargill says because she grew up in a predominantly white area, people weren't talking about race. They were talking about gender. So she got her start in feminist circles. I was recognizing that my race was playing a much bigger role, um, particularly in intersection with my gender. And it was something that I couldn't not talk about. Then her picture from the 2017 Women's March went viral. I kind of got thrown into the conversation. Outlets like Refinery29 and HuffPost Women were sharing her message and celebrating it. But Afropunk had a different take on her viral fame. I got a very different response. It was a lot of, why would you ever be part of the feminist movement? How could you trust that white woman next to you? Don't you know the history? She didn't know the history, so she started educating herself. What I found was a lot of very murky waters around this feminist movement that I thought was laying this path for me to have some type of empowerment as a woman. Sharing what she learned on social media her follower count skyrocketed from 10,000 to nearly 2 million. Even as she worked to make the world a more inclusive place, she didn't forget about her roots, opening Elizabeth's bookshop in Akron. Particularly little black girls who might be reflective of my own experience, who deserved an opportunity to go walk up to a bookshelf and see many versions of them, not just a little corner that was for people of color. She wants people to know black authors are writing about so much more than issues surrounding race rooted in trauma, they're spreading joy too. There's black biologists who are writing incredible books. There's black surfers who are sharing their stories. There's, you know, artists and architects who all have really meaningful things to share. So great that we have a Rachel Cargill and we have an in-depth profile of her and her rise from green to global phenomenon on the News 5 app. It also includes her insights on how her six years in the U.S. Air Force Guard helped to shape her perspective. Sounds good. Sounds good.